Okay, let's keep it moving here, everybody. Let's talk a little bit about integrations. So we do talk about integrations later on in the course here, but I just first wanted to touch quickly on like an intro. So basically the way that I think about this is you can connect, right? Basically one CRM, which is for the time being, either going to be Salesforce or HubSpot, okay? Now, when you do connect these, right, the biggest piece of this, and, and the reason why I skipped these two is we're gonna, we're gonna cover this uh, in the next section, but um, the biggest piece of this is gonna be our, our stages and our mappings, okay? So basically, when we, have, um, when we have Apollo contacts that are going over to Salesforce, right, we're gonna need for them to understand what the stages in Apollo mean so that they can correlate that directly over to Salesforce. Okay. If I was starting this out from scratch, I would definitely try to automatically create and map, right? They, they do a pretty good job of this. I'm not going to do that right now just because we're in a client environment and I don't want to touch that. But let me just give you an example here of what we're talking about in terms of these mappings, right? So now this customer doesn't use Salesforce too much. So I don't want you to look at the empty fields and think that that's like, a, hey, this is what we should be doing, right? So um, in terms of the, the mappings here, we could see things like uh, first name, last name. Now company name, I wanna just try to bring over to either account or company, right? So I think it's name account, but let me just see here, name account, right? Okay, cool so on and so forth, right? So you can see here on the left-hand side, we're talking about the Apollo field. In the middle, we're talking about the Salesforce field. Um, and given our plan here, we don't have the override autofill, it'll just auto do everything. Um, but this will give us all of the mappings that we're going to need. Now, if you don't do this, right? I'm sure that's already mapped. If you don't do this, you're going to have a very depressing and blank slash dry Salesforce or HubSpot account, okay? So what I recommend everybody do is come in here, start the mappings, right? Then come over to the account side, start the mappings, then come over to the opportunity side, you gotta start the mappings. This is gonna be the most annoying part just to make sure that everything is um, synced up properly. You're going to really, really thank yourself in about six months when this is done correctly from the onset seen some pretty uh, pretty um, adventurous recovery efforts here in terms of, hey, we don't know where any account is. Let's do this from the beginning. It's very important. Um, and it's a very straightforward process, but an important one. Okay, thank you.